Hello there, my name is Dave, and if you're new to this channel, it's all about album reviews and song reactions from the best and progressive rock music from the last 60 years. Now, I cover prog, metal, art, neo, and synth, and started this channel to rekindle my love for the music that seemed to end somewhere in my 20s, that I've now rekindled in my 60s. I promise to bring you a mature and honest reaction to the music I play, some of which will be very familiar, and some will be quite new to me. In this episode, it's a reaction to a new track from a band called Gong, and this track is called My Guitar is a Spaceship. This legendary psychedelic rock band has embarked on a new adventure with their latest album, Unending Ascending, which was released on the 3rd of November. It's still a groundbreaking album that marks a triumphant return to their psychedelic roots, infused with an innovative approach to music production, captivating collaborations, and a mesmerising blend of soundscapes and lyrical explorations. Join me now as I play you the whole song uninterrupted, and remember to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases. Here we go.
So it's four years since their last studio album, The Universe Also Collapses, and Gong has emerged with a fresh offering that solidifies their position as pioneers of psychedelic rock. This track, My Guitar is a Spaceship, is the third release from the album, and it's a song with a tapestry woven with a swirling guitar riffs, trippy melodies and a pervasive air of cosmic wonder. It seamlessly blends elements of space rock, progressive rock and experimental music, creating a unique and immersive listening experience. It's got a driving, repetitive and mesmerising rhythm to it, it simply devours your attention. There's that wild jazz saxophone playing along that reminds me of a 60s party my parents probably attended. The lyrics are simple with those short statements that become addictive. The second solo is a guitar one that is so dynamic before being joined by a combination of saxophone and oboe. I just love this one and they have stayed true to their improvisational roots from back in the day. The band are currently made up of Ian East on saxophone and woodwinds, Fabio Golfetti on guitar and singing, Chad Nettles on drums and singing, Dave Sturt on bass and singing, Kavas Tarabi singing and on guitar. Their decision to self-produce their music is a testament to the passion for artistic independence and that unwavering dedication to their craft. By taking control of the production process, the band was able to meticulously craft the sound that they envisioned, ensuring that every note, every instrumental passage and every lyrical phrase aligned with their creative vision. This hands-on approach has resulted in a body of work that is both cohesive and artistically uncompromising. The release of the album marks Gong's debut on K-Scope Records. It's a progressive rock label renowned for its commitments to releasing high-quality music from innovative and genre-bending artists. K-Scope's embrace of Gong's experimental approach and their dedication to pushing sonic boundaries make them an ideal partner for this groundbreaking album. The lyrics are filled with imagery of stars, planets and nebulae, creating a vivid and immersive soundscape. It's a track from a band that simply demands your attention. Now, before I go, I have two big asks from you. One is, if you've enjoyed the video, please give me a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And two, if you have enjoyed the content and don't yet have the music in your collection, then please click on the purchasing links in the description below to either purchase the music or to join Amazon Music. These both help out fund the channel and don't cost you anything more. Thank you so much for watching this episode and I'll see you all next time with another reaction or review on the Album Review Channel. Bye for now.